Hi everybody and welcome to the channel. Uh, just uh, got a, a, a video here on my X macro. So um, I, I recently purchased this. I did an unboxing video uh, on this. I also uh, did a couple videos on the accessories that I put on at the EPS carry as well as the TLR7 sub and some of the nuances with the installation that goes along with that. And I wanted to do... Um, you know, a video that kind of shows the uh, the X macro and where I have it uh, today with all the accessories on it and just kind of give a, you know, a brief uh, uh, review of, of kind of where I'm at and, and a couple other things that I plan on doing. All right. So, um, so of course, in my other video, I mentioned that, you know, and you saw how I, I installed the EPS carry. So this is the hollow sun EPS carry. Um, it is the multiple, multiple reticle. It's a two MOA um, with also the 32 uh, MOA ring. All right. So, um, that's on here. It's, it's solar powered. It's a fully enclosed emitter. Um, battery changes out from the side. It co-witnesses just co-witnesses with, um, uh, with, with the standard, uh, SIG sites that come with it. So th that was huge. And the, the benefit uh, or the reason that it can do that is because you do not need to install the optic plate, um, with this, uh, with this, um, uh, with the EPS carry, it has a uh, it has the uh, the footprint that allow direct installation. You do need specific screws, um, you know, that you can get from F Des Works or Hollow Sun. will give them to you as well, and I confirm that with with Hollow Sun uh, by talking to one of their reps. Uh, the TLR Seven Sub that's on here as well. Make sure you get the nineteen thirteen, not the Sig one that goes here. And then also from Tactical Development, there's a specific key because none of these keys that come with it. So all these keys that come with the TLR7 sub, none of them will work. Uh, well, they might work, but they won't work uh, to get the light as far back to the trigger guard as you can. And again, I mentioned before, the, the way you can tell is, you know, that, that silver washer or ring should line up with the, uh, with the end of the, the slide and the grip. Uh, and then what I haven't talked about before in other videos is the, um, the controls that I put on here. Um, so I went with uh, with like a polished uh, stainless steel nickel color. Uh, Sig offers these. Uh, you can buy the actual package from Sig uh, and change out these these all black controls for um, a polished uh, stainless steel. And then I went with a true precision uh, stainless steel polished stainless steel barrel. So wanted to create somewhat of that nightmare that Sig nightmare um, look right in the macro. So, uh, you know, so far so good. Uh, one of the things I did here, cause I wanted to put the magazine release, but that this mag release is different than the mag release on the P365. It's, 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 it's I won't say completely different, but it's obviously, it's a little bit wider. Um, and the back is different. So if you look at the magazine release on the, um, on the standard P365, let's see if I have one over here. I know I do. Um, Yeah, right here. So if you look at the magazine release, you'll see um, it's definitely different, especially the way you take it out. You see on the standard one, you know, it has that tab that you have to wiggle up to pull it out. This doesn't have that. It's, it's different. So um, don't make the mistake and, and think that these um, these are the same. The grip mod's different, so you should assume it's different. Um, and uh, what I did find out is that Armory Craft... Uh, is planning on having um, a a uh, a mag release as early as this summer uh, for the X Macro and extended mag release, and they plan on having it in this polished stainless steel. So I will be adding that mag release to this to give it sort of the four component look, um, as well as the barrel. I don't think I'm going to do anything with the back plate because I don't want to. I I rather have that blacked out. I don't want to distract myself from my sight picture. Um, and the other thing that I want to do is I want to install the, um, the tactical development mag, um, magwell. Uh, and I, I'm not sure if the mag, if that magwell, uh, is what's on the, uh, the TAC ops, but, um, it looks exactly the same as the one that comes on the TAC ops. So if anybody knows that, if, if you have a TAC ops, or if maybe you have a tactical development or you could, you have them both maybe, and you can look at them. Drop a comment and let me know. I'd be curious if the tactical development one is the exact same one that's on the uh, the uh, the tac ops out of the box. But nonetheless, it looks like that. It's minimal, right? I, I don't want a lot there because the um, you know this is a carry gun, so I don't want to put this 
big magwell in there i'm not looking to shoot this in competition or anything i'm looking to carry this appendix and have something at least that that i can uh you know get mags in a little bit easier but the bigger reason why i want the magwell is um if you uh and let me just drop this first to let everyone know this firearm is safe nothing and we're clear so if you with the magazine installed on the bottom now most of us are going to grip this high enough where it's not going to be a concern it's going to be uh you know out of the way but if, if you're down here a little bit there is a pinch point right here with, with the, the sharp corner of the magazine that can dig into your palm a little bit right and you don't really feel it if you're up high enough but it's very very close like for me i i just ever so slightly can feel it right and i think although i haven't i haven't had um i haven't had this grip module in my hand with a magazine in it and a magwell but my feeling is based on what i see is that's going to be taken away with the magwell so that's going to you're, you're not even going to be in contact with it but if you drop just a little bit you can totally feel it right there it's a pinch point and if you got an x macro you'll know what i'm talking about these edges down here are very very sharp at the bottom of the grip module for for, for a, a rounded off past pl plastic piece it has some uh you know some pinch point to it so anyway that's the next thing i plan on doing um so uh i have not shot i've not put any rounds through this firearm it's it's less than a week old um i have my accessories on it the way i want it set up and my plan is to put a thousand rounds through this uh and do a review for you guys uh, I'm going to carry it. I'm going to try and I'm going to I'm going to use it uh, after that thousand round as my EDC. And then I'm going to do another follow up round um, video like six months out after carrying it uh, because I'm real curious how it hands up from a corrosion perspective. I don't anticipate to have any issues with it. I have not had any issues with any other my other P365s. Uh, I've got one right now that I've carried for a year um, or more. And, uh, there's, I've had no corrosion issues. Now I, I do, um, I do take care of my firearms in terms of maintenance. Uh, I probably, I probably give them attention more so than, than, than I need to, but it's just something that I like doing. Um, these, these firearms are not inexpensive and I just, I really take care of them. So, uh, that's not to say you have to do that. It shouldn't corrode. You know, you shouldn't have to clean this firearm, you know, um, before you throw a thousand rounds through it but i typically do i'll every couple hundred rounds i'm cleaning this right and i'm paying attention to it and then the other thing i do is when i come home i haven't carried this one yet but when i come home from a full day i give it a good wipe down and um one of the things i recommend to do is to get yourself um get yourself a silicone cloth right and just keep it at your safe right i have i have a couple down here on my bench and uh, and i have a couple in my safe so when i get home at night I'll wipe it down with a silicone cloth um, and I'll keep it in a sealed bag, right? So it stays moist, right? Um, you also can do the same thing. If you don't have silicone, you can do the same thing. Get like a, a, a Tupperware that has a, some kind of sealed ring around it. And then you can get uh, just a microfiber rag and use like, I don't know, you can take something like this and, um, and just spray it, All right? So you could use the CLP Extreme Duty, spray it so it just has some of that CLP in it. Uh, and, it, and it does a great job for for anti corrosion, you know. Um, the other the other thing I really do is I I pay good attention to a couple spots um, under the optic, around the the optic, and then in where the actual iron sights are in here. You know, these are these are areas that love to collect moisture, and they're very it's very hard to wipe those down, right? So that's going to be areas that can build up corrosion. Uh, and you know, sweat's not great for firearms, so you want to make sure you take care of that. Anyway, um, that's my plan, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, hope you guys, hope you guys like it. You know, you don't have to, it's mine, but, um, you know, hope it maybe give you some ideas. I uh, hope you enjoyed the videos on the, uh, the Streamlight and the EPS carry. Hopefully, um, you know, it'll avoid some issues that, that you have, um, questions that I had that I wound up doing some research to get answers for. So, um, yeah, that's it. Um, when the mag release comes in and I get that installed and hopefully the, uh, the Magwell, which is on back order right now, comes in and I can get that ordered. Um, that'll be that'll be good. The other the other item I looked at for this firearm, I, I don't know if I if I'll need to do it, is the um, the uh, Hogue is going to be making um, uh, a, a grip for this. 
it's a, one of their rubber grip balls. I, it's something like that they're called. But anyway, they're, it says coming soon, right? They don't say when it's coming out, but uh, there's going to be like a rubber grip. It has a little beaver tail on it. And I would, I would think that that, you know, if you have monster hands, you know, because th this is this is a pretty big grip, you know, and you, you, like I have the medium on here, but you can also put the large. Um, I don't know if you have monster hands, maybe you need that. But uh, I don't at this point intend to put that on there, but um, that's another option that you can do. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, and I uh, you know, hope you got something out of it. Uh, if you guys could please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and, and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And uh, I'd really, really appreciate it. Um, and, and anything you do for comments or liking, subscribing, share the video uh, really helps the algorithm in getting this content out. Uh, the more that that happens and the more subscribers I can get, the more videos I can put out. So I uh, appreciate it, everyone. Hope you have a good day, and uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.